Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of War Tales. Last episode, we uh, went around and just went around and did a few things that we had to do around here. Uh, we took care of, let me think, it was mainly running around and getting, uh, getting more wood and the like, because we needed the wood. We've gotten, we've gotten a lot of the wood taken care of. Interesting that I can do this. And, uh, we've also got a bandit lair to clear out, so let's go ahead and clear this out. A lair is a place teeming with enemies. The more active skulls there are, the more dangerous the lair is. To reduce the number of enemies in a lair, look for groups with a skull in the region. Eliminate them first to make your final assault easier. I think we've killed a bunch, so maybe we can... Oh, wow. So, three hoodlums, three poachers, and two marauders. We're a little... No, actually, we're about even. Let's give this a try. Will this be difficult? Maybe, but I think we might be able to handle it. There are eight of us, and there are eight of them. Okay, we're a little spread out on two groups we gotta deal with. Alright. Let's see. So, first one to go is that hoodlum, then that poacher, then that hoodlum, then that poacher. Okay, so... Let me think here. Poacher we need to take care of. I'm fine with using... Let's see. Hackard can take care of the poacher. That's fine. Um... Hmm. Belai can take care of the hoodlum. Then we got a hoodlum over here. How far can this hoodlum go? You know... Okay, that poacher is a bit of a problem, but if I keep my guys far... Okay, where's the other... Okay, Hackard's gonna take care of that. Alani, you can take care of that poacher when you get a chance. But, since this hoodlum is the one who would need to come after us, the hoodlum can't reach us. Long as I keep my guys out here. Which means I get an extra turn to attack someone else. In fact, Alani would be able to attack this poacher without a problem. The hoodlum wouldn't be able to reach. Which means our goon would be able to deal with someone if he wishes. Okay, so Fly's gonna go after that hoodlum, Hackard's gonna go after that poacher, and then we'll make a judgment with Alani going after this poacher. Oh, that's a poacher, too. Hmm. Well, anyway, um... Okay, Huguer... You can stay there. You'll probably try and get the attention of this Marauder, because Marauders are actually pretty damn dangerous, and I don't like them. Rufus can probably help with something. We'll figure this out. Okay, this might work. Alright, step one, fly. Head on over to here. Destabilizing strike. And a slice. There you go. Nice. And that was absolutely beautiful. Ha! Huh. Unlock the trait opportunistic. Oh, I like that. All right, Hackert. Stab for the poacher. And that'll be good. Okay. Now, that poacher will be going later. That hoodlum will be going. I need to deal with the hoodlum. 
Although that poacher will eventually be attacked, that hoodlum can't reach me. Alright, Alani? Oh, crap. If I have Alani go forward, he'll be able to be attacked by the hoodlum. So Alani's gonna have to go next. Fine, then. Um... Huguer, move forward, attack this guy. There's some damage. Go ahead with a deflection, just in case. Alright, Hoodlum comes out. Can't do anything. Perfect. Which means, Alani... There you go. That, that guy's not a problem anymore. Now, let's see here. So that poacher's gonna go next, then the hoodlum, then the marauders are going last. Okay. Ragoon, you're gonna head over to here, bash this thing, bash this guy. Got the attention of the marauder? How about, actually, finish, finish off the poacher entirely, why don't you? No longer a threat. And... Where's the Marauder gonna... The Marauder can get anyone. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and wait there. Actually... No, you can't really get to anyone. Yeah, you're gonna wait there. You... We're gonna go ahead and attack this guy. And you're engaged. You know what? That's fine. Okay, so that Marauder is gonna go next. Is there any you can reach? There's only one you can reach, and that's over here. And it'll knock you back, actually. Go for it. It didn't knock him back, interestingly enough. That hurt a little. But Alarin, I think you have a good choice. Head over to here. And go with Volley of Arrows. 48% chance of hitting the Poacher, 31% chance of... 41 of the Marauder, 31 of the Poacher. Go for it! Alright, good. Poacher's dead. We're good. Now you're coming out, and you're going for Argoon. Kind of expected that. Alright. Time for us to see if we can finish off these guys. So, the Hoodlum's gonna be going next. I think we'll be able to take care of him. Yeah, we can finish off this Hoodlum. Now, Hackert, you head on behind him and try a frenzy. Actually, stab? Regular stab will work. Haha, <laughs> nice. That's how you take care of that. Alright, the poacher's gonna take their turn. I don't care about that. The marauder, I don't like. So you... I'm gonna head over to here and impale him. There you go. And Falai, you head on over behind him and stab him. Now you're probably going to attack Falai, 
and that'll just result in you getting attacked. Or, I can actually shoot him dead before he gets a chance. Yeah, I think I can. Maybe. Well, give it a try. And you're dead. Perfect. All right, Argoon. Move forward a little and ram this guy. Bam. Nice. I think we can finish him off. That's how you do it. Demoralized and flee. Yeah, let's let him go. Mission complete. Fly became a duelist. Interesting. All right, iron ore, outlaws tabard, cloth, and sandstone. We don't have enough raw materials to repair. We gotta go back to town for that. We will report to an emissary to claim our reward. Let's inspect and see what we can find around here. Let's see. We've got incendiary flask. Oh, <laughs> Molotov cocktails. Nice. Stiletto. This weapon can be hidden in the folds of a cloak or up a sleeve to execute an attack at the very last second. And adjustable straps. Nice. A uh, couple raw materials. Comfrey, pike, and woolen cloth. We can get some money from that. Let's see. Oh. There is a corpse in the campsite. Hackert immediately recognizes Ricky, his former accomplice who had betrayed him. Ooh. Lucilla Lund's medallion. Blood is splattered on the letters, forming the name Lund that's engraved on the back of the pendant. Interesting. Here we've got a whetstone. Popular amongst barbers and warriors alike, the simple stoneware item is, in, is an invaluable companion. Critical hit increased by 10% during an attack from behind. Ooh. And a watch-keeping stool teaches you how to craft a watch-keeping stool. That's interesting. Anything else? Oh, we can cut word. wood. Yes, please, go ahead. Why not? We need the wood. Uh, we can inspect this for... Sea bass marinated in hemp oil. The marinade gives the fish a strange green color. When the troop collects a resource in the world, they gain a 25% chance to collect another. That'll be an interesting one to try. That seems to be just about everything that we can loot around here. We've already inspected you. Okay. That was pretty darn good. Compendium. All right, the thing that we can uh, make here. Watch keeping stool. Reduces the chance of being attacked during arrest. Reduces the chance prisoners will escape. We can make that. We can make that very easily. Five leather and ten wood? Yeah, why not? More camping gear is even better. Go ahead and craft. There we go. We got it. Let's put it out here. There it is. And... Hmm. Let's, uh... Alani, you can go ahead and keep watch. I think that's fine. And we've got a whole bunch of resources here. Okay, first of all, we're going to send the carcasses into here. So we don't need them. Okay. Is there anything we can dismantle? Yeah, I can dismantle that for a raw material and some iron ore and leather, interestingly enough. I 
kind of don't want the incendiary flasks. Can't do the ringleader's dagger, unfortunately. I may dismantle those, but here, dismantle this. We got two more raw materials, some leather and iron ore. Okay. Now, we have... Well, first off, we got cooking we can do. We can make one pike soup. Sure, go ahead. And we need more soap, more salt, so we'll pick that up soon. Okay, as for items... Nope. Uh, items we've picked up. Let's see here. So, the stiletto... I kind of want to give that to Hackers. That kind of makes sense. After all, he is a backstabber, a cutthroater, a cutthroat, as opposed to the poisoner and the strat. Yeah, makes sense for you. You get the stiletto, Hackert. Okay. Actually, oh yeah, that's that's what it would be. No. I take it back. You get the whetstone because increased by 10% during an attack from behind for critical hit chance. That's actually even better, I think. Yes, much better. Okay. Lucilla Lund's medallion seems like it would be important. Uh, who here doesn't have an accessory? So... Huger and Hruf and Hrufras. So Huger, you've got movement ten. You've got movement ten. Your movements are pretty good. You can hold on to the stiletto. Hrufras, I want to give you. You can take Lucilla Lund's medallion. And the adjustable straps we can kind of hold on to for now. Okay. I think that'll do. Now, that taken care of, let's look around a bit more, gather up some more resources, and we're going to be making our way back. Oh, hello. What is this? Tiltrin Tomb. We found something unique. I think this is the last region area. And we've got some uh, slavers, I think those are, that we need to clear out. However, the tomb is what I want to take care of. So, okay, first things first. Alani, repair one. Argoon, repair one. And Hackert, you can repair one. Now, we've got a tomb here. Let's take a look at this. Also, hello, Re Real Hardcore. Good of you to visit. Let me drop down a save before we take a look at this. Oh, God. All right, let's go take a look at this tomb over here. The Tiltrin Tomb. Doesn't seem to be anything out and about on the outside, so... Kudanjian. Pretending to be scholars exploring the tomb, are we mercenaries? Steal yourselves. People often go missing in there. Cloth, grease, rope, and a torch. I feel like we could probably use a torch. I'll buy one. And I'll equip that on someone. Who shall have the torch? Hacker, you hold on to the torch. Probably gonna need it. Let's explore. You will need torches to light your way as you explore tombs. If, you, if your torch dies out, your troop will panic and flee from the tomb. Ah, so we need a whole bunch of these. 
pretending to be scholars exploring the tomb, are we mercenaries? Steal yourselves. There. Five torches. That'll do. All right, then. Let's explore a bit. This is going to be interesting. So that's where I came from. Ah! Uh, we need a crude key for that. Let's try this way. Let's so turn back. This is a dead end, it looks like. Oh, inspect. The statue depicts a man called Dagon. Something about his posture makes you want to sing. Sadly, we don't have a bard, and we can't make someone a bard. So we can't. Unfortunate. Fine, turn back. How about down here? Stones of all sizes are strewn across this corridor. They seem to have fallen from a ceiling obscured by darkness. Not yet. Let's try this one. You feel a warm breath behind your shoulder. Creepers! With mole rats and creepers. Oh, this is new! Creatures of the Tombs. And I cannot see any of them because we only have one light. Oh! Oh, this is a little worrying. Okay, everyone gather together. So I got a creeper, a mole rat, and a mole rat. Okay. Found him! Let's finish off this creeper, at least. Demoralize and flee. Um... Go ahead. A cloth and some pristine fangs. Alright, let's continue. Your companions could just about slip through a small opening in the rubble blocking the way. Ooh, what's this? Interesting. Hello. You have discovered the rune performance. Okay, searching this is actually very interesting. Let's try and slip through. The narrowness of the opening is nerve-wracking. Barrel panics and sustains an injury. Contusion. Constitution reduced by half. We'll need to do something about that. Okay, we can unlock this chest. Ah, damn it. Okay, got one. Got two. Got three. All right, what have we got in here? Artist's Codex, Chapter 2. This codex is damaged. You can use the lectern to restore it. And a sapphire and a ruby. Well, someone was here. A crude key. Ah, we can probably open up that one near the entrance. Used by the greatest professors in the most prestigious universities in Alazar to avoid having to teach their students one second too long. And a couple torches. Okay, good. Ooh. We don't have a scholar. The door is locked. Okay, we need a scholar in order to go any further in here. Okay, turn and back. 
and we will advance cautiously. Slowly but surely, you reach the other side. This seems to be the only other room. What have we got here? Another scholar we'd need. <sighs> Unfortunately, we need other people in order to do this, and it seems we've run out. Looks like that's all we can explore here, so we'll exit. And we got something here. Magnanimous. Allow ten enemies to flee. Okay. Interesting stuff there. Barrow, how do we treat this? Use medicine to heal a contusion. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So we haven't completely explored the this tomb, but we have explored a bit. We need a lectern to restore that, which we don't have. We got a spare vial. Oh, the crude key! I forgot about that! There we go. What have we got in here? We've got fragments of a small item. Only the scattered pieces of the small ancient object remain. A scholar could repair this. And a ruby and a sapphire. Okay. All right, then. That's interesting. So, we have some items that we can actually turn in. Okay, we have to get back to, uh, back to town now. We've done everything we need to out here. We gotta get repairs, we gotta get more, uh, materials, and we're also just about to be tired. All right, let's, uh, let's camp for the night. Is there anything else we want to craft here? We now know that we can craft more torches, and we know what we need them for. But we're fine without them for now. Don't think we need to craft anything there. We don't have... Yeah, we need a companion in order to do that. We don't know the artist codex. Okay, so a few items that we're going to be using later that we want to make sure we don't sell will be that. Wait, what happened to the... Oh! Okay. Wait, codex management. M Restore damage codexes to discover which runes they hold. Once restored, they remain unintelligible until you learn all the corresponding runes. Oh. Let me take this out, then. Restoration. So we need all of the corresponding runes. Hmm. This is an interesting thing. We're not going to do anything with it now, but put that in there, and put that in there, because that, that's going to be useful. Okay, then. I don't have anything to make there. Can't cook anything. We got someone resting in there. Gerlin, you can sit on that side. And now food. Uh, we don't need that for the resources. The pike soup will be fine. Grilled carp. One of those, and a cider. That'll satisfy everyone. Okay. And we've got a few more raw materials, but we don't have enough. And what path here? Famous. More influence. All right. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, Ruins Explored. Yeah, we still need to. But we found all the locations that there are around here. So, next episode, we're going to head back to town, turn in all, this, uh, all these resources and the like we picked up. 
maybe do some crafting and get things handled. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Tresser44, also known as Fly. That is Alarin, Alani, Argun, Gurlin, Hugert, Hackert, Rufrus, and me. This has been a Let's Play of War Tales, and I shall see you all next time.